Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rosham Joe Paints. As always, my name is Joe and today I will be painting Poogie from the Monster Hunter World board game released by Steam Forged Games. I don't believe that this pig has anything to do with gameplay, um, but, you know, it sits there and looks cute. So, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start uh, priming that bacon. Well, at least it was a short intro, right? So like I was saying, we got a first prime and model. And the way we're going to do that is... Um, oh, Joe, um, we got to... Change your hat. Uh, people might get mad at the lack of continuity. Well, I can't imagine they would. I mean, really think people are coming here for continuity? Yeah, that's true. I mean, nobody's coming here in general, so I guess uh, continuity is the least thing we have to worry about. You should probably, you know, try and do, like, better painting or better content in the first place and then worry about what other people are saying. Go, go ahead and continue. Right, so I'll just carry on then. Um, the first thing we're going to do is use some Vallejo Black Surface Primer sprayed through an airbrush to cover the whole model. Once again, use whatever primer you'd like. I would just recommend using a primer so you give something the rest of the paints to stick to a little bit easier than just the bare plastic of the model. Um, the first the first, the first, burst, burst, the first base coat uh, we are going to do is going to be Scar Snick Green, and we're going to do this on all of the pajamas. Um, I know there's stripes, so we could try to lay them in that way, but it's just easier to do it this way. And uh, since we're using thin coats, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, the main thing I want to do is I want to get all of the um, areas that need to be covered with the green, covered with the green. Imagine that. But also, um, by the time I'm done with these uh, couple of coats, I just want to make sure that I'm not seeing any of the black primer through because I haven't decided yet if I'm going to actually do a wash um, or if I'm just going to leave it as is. So we shall see. So just as a quick aside, um, the reason I'm using the colors that I've chosen here um, is I'm basing it off of this picture I found online, um, which I think is pretty close to the default colors of, um, of how the costume is given to you in the video game. The but you can also, I think, dye these colors, so feel free to use whatever colors you like, and if it's not exact, it really doesn't matter that much because the model doesn't care. It's just going to sit here and look cute regardless of what you color you decide to paint it. Paint it like a bumblebee, paint it like a tiger. Oh, I should have painted it like a tiger. Anyways. With a solid base coat of Scarsnet Green, I'm now going to use a mix of Lamium Medium and Bale Tan Green in about a one-to-one, -one, approximately. It's not an exact science, but uh, to create just a little bit of extra shadowy, or shadowy, just to create a little darkness in the recesses of the pajamas. Now I already did this side and then dry brushed it. And I don't know how I feel about it, but now that I've done it to one side, I, I feel like I need to do it the other, but I've already stripped all the paint off this thing and redone it once, so I'm not doing it again. Um, or maybe I am. I don't know. We'll find out. But basically, there you go. That's uh, that, that's the that's all we're looking for. I almost porky pigged it right here, but I don't know if that's copyright. You know, probably is. Anyone? With our shade now dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back and dry brush the same scar snick green over the bale tan green shade, and hope that I pick up some of that uh, that brighter color again. Um, Dry brushing, of course, as always, is the art of wasting a lot of paint on a paper towel after you pull it directly out of the pot. And you do that by getting a little bit on your brush, knocking most of it off, and you can actually test on your thumb if you'd like. See, I don't even see any coming right now, which probably is perfect, because uh, that allows you to put on as little as possible because it's really, really easy to continue adding more paint, but it's really hard to go back and take that paint back off without starting all over again. I'm gonna keep doing this until I have a decent Scarsnick green color back and vibrant, and then we'll move on. 
So you would think that drawing lines would actually be pretty simple. However, this is probably the most aggravating step for me as far as this model is concerned because I'm trying to paint these lines, which are essentially just vertical lines that go up and down his pajamas, but he's sitting down. That makes it really hard to actually paint like that. Uh, I did this side already, and now all I have to do is mirror it over here without screwing it up uh, to the point where I feel like I need to start over. Uh, give you uh, three guesses on how many times I've had to start over. Uh, nah, no, I won't because you can't reply. Uh, I've started over twice. And uh, like I said, it's, it's for some reason the hardest part for me and I don't know why. But this time it actually looks like it's going pretty well. So uh, I'm gonna celebrate that and uh, move on to the next step before I screw it up. And then uh, when you see it next, it could be six or seven tries, but you won't know, because it'll just be the next step. Originally, I was gonna finish off the pajamas by doing some buttons and maybe some shading of the Drakenhof nightshade on the blue. I uh, decided against that, and instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave the pajamas alone and put on some of the flesh. Uh, so that we can see how that's looking and in order to do that I'm going to be using Rackarth flesh very carefully around the edges of these pajamas because you know say it with me I don't want to have to do this over again um, but yeah it's really just the head the ears the legs and then we'll, most of that's gonna get covered up as a hoof later on so down here See, this is, this is also what I was hoping for, was as we start adding colors besides the green or blue, it almost looks like the green and the blue uh, start to stand out from each other because they were kind of blending in, but that could have also just been because I had been staring at this for so long. So, uh, ears here, and the last little bit, aside from all the legs and all that stuff that I'm going to continue doing later, uh, is the, you see this little bow back here? That's going to get pink later, but... You can see a little bit of his tail just kind of popping up right there. Very cute. Although, why isn't it curly? Now I have questions. So for the next step, I'm going to go with a little bit of Kislev flesh. I'm going to now cover up all of the Rakarth flesh, uh, which again is the legs and the hooves and the tail and the ears and the face. Kislev flesh now dry. We're going to come back, like I said, and use a little bit of the Reichland flesh shade. And I said a little bit, and then I used a lot. So we're going to knock some of that off the brush and then spread this around and dry off what we need to because we don't need it to be crazy. Just need to get a little bit of coverage in the snout. There's a little bit of a mouth down here. Um, so we're going to move this around, try to have it not dry in a terrible way. Um, and then probably, if it's thin enough, depending on the overall look, I might just leave it and not go back and re-up it with, uh, with some more Kids Love Flesh. What I will do is I'm probably going to um, come back here and do the nose again, like just right in the front. But first, let me get these ears in the folds here. And over in this one. Ooh, gotta watch out for those pajamas. Okay, something like that. Sure. So for the time being, I'm actually kind of okay with the overall flesh look. Uh, next, I'm gonna move on to painting the hooves, which are obviously on the feet. Down here, or are the hooves the feet? Not gonna look, I've already learned a lot about pig anatomy. Just making a couple of jokes here. So we're gonna paint these hooves black and that will be the entire step for them. Uh, we are also going to go and add a little bit of black, uh, not on the top lid, but just on, or not on the eyelid, but on the, oh, I need a better point on my brush. Might need a smaller brush. We'll find out. Um, but you can see there's actually the eye portion here 
and then there's the eyelet above it. I don't know if you can see that. I'll move it up here. How about that? Yeah. Now I'm less okay with what the uh, the flesh looks like. Uh, I'm gonna have to go do that. Anyways, you can see what I was talking about. Same thing on this side. See, there's a little bit of a line right there, and we are just going to attempt to hit the lower portion like that. Something like that. There you go. Now it's looking at you. Look. I look so happy. You know what? I'm fine with the flesh. You are beautiful as you are, Poogie. With just a few steps to go, I am now turning to painting the bow back here. Uh, again, around the, pa the uh, pajamas, we are going to be very, very careful. We are using Screamer Pink for this step. And as you can't really see most of it because he's sitting on it, I am not going to push my luck. Just gotta get a couple coats of it on and don't even know if I'm gonna do anything beyond that. I'll let you know in the next step if I end up doing that. Main thing I wanna do is not cause myself to have to start over on the blues and the greens. So rather than doing a shade and then brightening the whole thing back up, I just opted to do a little bit of the pink horror uh, on the raised portions of the bow. And again, this is because you can't really see it, but it will make enough of a difference that you can see there's three separate sections of the bow, and then I'll be happier with myself. So We are on the home stretch now. We're going to be using some Ogren camo to paint the buttons. Um, just, I don't know, you can probably guess what I'm about to say, which is, that's right, be careful because you don't want to hit the pajamas and have to redo them again. With the Ogren Camo dry, I am now going to drop a little bit of Seraphim Sepia just on the very tops of the buttons, because uh, there is a little bit of texture there, so not a whole lot. I actually would like to not have to go and touch these up later. So I'm going to put in just enough of the shade to kind of show you where where the texture is and then I'm gonna move away from it and leave it alone and hope that we can just be happy. Because this, aside from cleaning up the base, is the last step. Hooray, we made it. And it only took 75 minutes. Not really though. Like I, I wrote in the, uh, the thing down below, I'm like, if this takes longer than 15 minutes, I gotta, I gotta seek professional help. Um, so. And so, of course, we come to the part of the episode where I get to say, hooray, we're done. Uh, if you don't start over four or five times, this is actually a really, 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 really quick model to paint. Uh, if you do my method, uh, you're probably going to be sitting there for, I don't know, six or seven hours. But I don't recommend my method. Just maybe take um, the colors and do it your own way. Um, flat black, uh, the surface primer black on the base, because the uh, Poogie, the Hunters, and Palico, I will not be doing any sort of uh, basing on. However, the Monsters, I will be doing basing. And I'm very excited to give you a quick sneak peek of the next one I'm going to be doing, which is the Great Jaggers. And that is what his uh, base looks like. I did actually put a little bit of effort into it, and I'm happy with how it came out. The little lines on the side are, you know, where it faces or whatever, so. Hopefully, I can get that episode out, paint that one up real nice, and it'll look good, because I really like the base, and I don't want to put uh, just a piece of not good on top of that. So, if you made it this far into the episode, thank you very much. I do have uh, more coming for Monster Hunter World. Obviously, the Jaggers is going to be there, but I'm going to go through, uh, I think I've got like 12 of them, 12 monsters to paint. Won't be doing the Hunters. I do have like one of them right here I'll show you. Uh, this is the Jaggers Sword Hunter. If I get any closer, it'll get blurry, but there you go. Nice, right? You'll have to just wait until the next episode, which is, or the Jaggers episode to see him. Uh, but if you made it this far in, thank you. Um, thinking about liking, subscribing, sharing it with your friends. Uh, I might be on Blue Sky at some point, but I never really did Twitter, so I probably won't do Blue Sky either. Just 
I have an account, so I'm there. Uh, but I am more active on Instagram, and then every once in a while when I put it on an episode like this, I will be on Reddit. Uh, we'll have more Warhammer stuff coming. Leviathan's going to be here in a day or two, uh, and I always have just a mountain of other models to paint. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave them below. Uh, if I have the models, I'll think about it. But I got a backlog of other things I need to get to, too, because just who I am. Anyways, if you made it this far, once again, thank you very much. Very appreciated, and uh, I guess I will catch you on the next one. What the? God, way too tight.